The Lodge has a past, like all the characters, and I think we're starting to tell the story of what that past is and how it connects to the present. Part of the, the themes in The Lodge are the seen and the unseen and the fact that you know, the past haunts us all the time. It was interesting when we shot it because we didn't have to do a lot of redressing on The Lodge to go back to 1960, because the truth is these places haven't changed a lot. The Sovereign Protector needs my help. Mom, he does dry cleaning. I really like that story being expanded in that direction and getting a sense of the history of the lodge. Go pick out on some turkey. Be thankful, Larry. Be thankful. His behavior has become more erratic. He's showing some signs of, in my view, of unraveling mentally. I've got a plan. Yeah, I'm going on a little trip. What are you talking about? Well, I've been setting it up ever since I left the hospital. I'm sort of thinking that something's going on with Larry that I don't really want to face and accept. He's coming tomorrow to pick me up. We've got some business to take care of across the border. He wants to go meet this guy, and I'm thinking, hey, something's going to happen to you because you're not all there. El Confidente. Hey, look, look, come on. come on, trust me, man. I'll be fine. You know, you, you, this, this just doesn't make any sense. Good to go. The loss is real. And that's um, a surprise to me. It's sudden and, and it's a big loss for Ernie. Larry is, is, is a very key figure in all this. What he leaves Ernie and Dud is the quest. The show is more interested in believers than it is in what they believe doesn't shy away from the tragedy, but it finds its moments to go, just keep got to laugh and carry on, you know. Marx Brothers and Greek tragedy, rolling the world. Exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs>